so in this module we'll discuss fracture in detail so let's go so uh, overall the uh, all of the uh, bones in our body can be divided into the two system okay so one is axial system and one is appendicular system okay axial system compromise of spine and cranium okay and appendicular system again there is a upper limb fracture and lower limb fracture okay so in this part we will discuss upper limb okay right so as you see first fracture is the clavicle fracture okay so clavicle fracture is the most common bone to get fractured okay the most common site is middle one third part okay so if you see the fracture pattern you will get an idea okay so this is a clavicle fracture and you can clearly see the displacement okay so the the uh, medial part of the bone okay is displaced upward and the lateral part is downward okay why it's happen because of direction of pull of sternocleidomastoid muscle attached to it and the distal part is because of its gravity portion which pulls down shoulder below okay so according to that in the fracture okay so the basically all men divided this fracture into three parts okay so the fracture classification is all men classification it divided into the medial one third the middle one third and lateral one third okay peculiarity of clavicle is is formed by intra membranous ossification and it unites conservative management okay so for management portion usually conservative way we follow okay in conservative we what we can use okay so as you can see in this fracture okay this portion gets overlapped okay so the idea is to uh, give pull to uh, the medial fracture medially and lateral fracture laterally okay to get the fracture aligned okay so it is by figure of eight pattern okay so what happened in that okay suppose this is the bone okay this is the human body okay this is the upper limb this is the clavicle bone it gets fractured so by applying the figure of eight will pull this fracture this word and by opposing shoulder will pull this portion this side okay so get aligned so figure of eight pattern is important the second is arm sling is basically used for lateral end fracture this is for middle one third okay right and so uh, if we talk about uh, the operative part okay so operation will do if there is a skin impingement major dip displacement any open injury any associated neurovascular injury okay 
ಸೊ 